Legend from Total War here, and today we're doing another Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign review, this time covering Volkmar the Grim. So Volkmar used to start off in Reichland in Warhammer 1 and 2, but in Warhammer 3 he's moved into his own faction called the Cult of Sigma, and he's moved way down south to Sudenberg in the Southlands, and he's got his own campaign objective separate from the Imperial Authority system that uh, Reichland and the Golden Order have to manage. Now I think that Volkmar's campaign is possibly the most interesting out of all of the Empire factions currently because with the Books of Nagash campaign, I mean you've you've chased after the Books of Nagash previously playing as Tomb Kings, but this one here you're sealing them away. And as you're sealing each of them away, and they're just in the, pretty much the same locations as they've always been, you're sealing them away and gaining all the benefits of the elect account system apart from actually being able to assign elect accounts and getting some pretty significant benefits on top of that. So ward save plus 15% all characters once you've obtained all eight books of Nagash. That's pretty massive, especially considering Volkmar is prone to becoming a one-man doomstack. So that extra 15% on top of his already big resistances makes a huge difference. In addition to that, the 70% reduced up upkeep cost for elect account state troops, that means it's cheaper than what Reichland and the Golden Order can get those state troops. So you can end up having armies with state troops significantly cheaper than than your standing armies. In addition to that, this starting position over here is way more interesting than starting off in Reichland. You've got a wider variety of enemies here to deal with that aren't necessarily difficult. I think that Volkmar's faction is pretty strong in the early game, but you do need to watch out, especially for endgame crises, because quite a few can pop up around here that can absolutely derail your campaign. Overall, I'd highly recommend giving this campaign a go, in, just in terms of fun factor it's got a bit of a challenge to it if you're playing on on very hard and legendary difficulty because some of your units in the early game are definitely prone to uh being affected by fear and everything around here is undead which provide fear by default so your leadership is going to be a problem especially if you're playing on higher battle difficulties but overcoming that challenge this is a very interesting campaign and i reckon the sweet spot for playing this campaign is probably very hard and legendary because i think you want to go for a bit of a challenge with this one because the benefits as you go on through the campaign are going to be quite significant and your armies are going, going to become significantly more powerful and cheaper so the added difficulty adds to keeping the game engaging throughout the late campaign. But overall, this is a very good campaign. I think CA did a good job with moving Volkmar out of Reichland. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Let me know in the comments below which legendary lord you'd like me to cover next. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time.